When I was young, I saw an illustration on the cover of a Mexican geography book, the painting of a landscape dominated by a train that was moving through a countryside. It was charming and neat. José María Velasco, born in 1840, died in 1912, was a landscape painter. His topic and fascination was the Mexican territory and the transformation of it due to human activity. He studied arts in the Fine Arts College of San Carlos in Mexico City, where the teacher Eugenio Landesio guided him through the road of realism and landscape art. Later on, he became a teacher of perspective in the same college when he was just 18. Velasco perfected his technical abilities at an early stage of his life and dedicated his art career to painting the domestication of the valleys of Mexico. The development of his talent was a process done on the field, where he would take his easel, canvases, paintings and brushes on the top of cliffs and hills to paint the landscape. In his time, the cities were small and underdeveloped, land was vast. The dreams of a better future and progress didn't affect the beauty of the land. In his pieces, we can observe a pristine lake of Texcoco that was reduced in size during the 20th century. The skylines of cities dominated by domes, towers of churches and cathedrals, heritage of the Viceroyalty period, the valley of the mountains as a whole, are elements that define the aura of his creations about the human activity and the land back then. Even in José María's purest landscape, there are traces of human activity like a single explorer with his donkey or a long dirt road in the mountain. As always, José painted his masterpieces with the mastery and ability to recreate the true spirit and beauty of Mexican landscapes of his time. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe and activate the bell for notifications.